you know, uh, cultural relevance is really about recognizing that culture is an ever-evolving and dynamic phenomenon that is at the anchor of any true teaching and learning. That a school that has all white affluent students needs cultural relevance. And that a school that is urban or rural with a majority minority populations need cultural relevance. That, 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 that the construct of culture is ever evolving. And it's about teachers being able to recognize or tap into the culture that is most prominent in young people's lives. If people will come and talk to you about, um, they will lead a culturally relevant conversation about equity, and I believe in equity, but I think when you talk about the pedagogy, it's about tapping into that shared schema and practices of young people in the, that are right in front of you and leveraging that in your curriculum and in your pedagogy. And that's all this to me. Now, culturally sustaining is just sustaining that practice. Uh, reality pedagogy is just a bunch of tools to help you to be able to enact that practice. But it all boils down to a respect for the ever-evolving and dynamic nature of shared understandings that young people hold and a recognition that that is ever-evolving based on space, time, context, locale, classroom within the same school building. Like for me, cultural relevance can look different in first period and fourth period because first and fourth can have different culture dynamics at play. And so I have to be, as an educator, malleable enough to tap into each unique iteration of culture. It may be shared, but I also have to recognize that it may vary. And I have to be dynamic and fluid and malleable enough to align myself to that ever-evolving nature of culture.